What's up guys, it's your boy Dom and welcome back to Dom Up Cuz. Before we get into the video, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dom. We are on a road to 200 subscribers. Let us get there. So as you can see by my chrome wallpaper, man, I have the NBA 2K21 cover here. Um, and you can tell by the title of the video as well. I will be going through NBA 2K21 bad reviews. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! So, as we all know, the NBA 2K games aren't necessarily as good as they were back in the day. I want to go ahead and check all this out with y'all and see and have some good laughs and see if what can the 2K, what can 2K fix? As a Metacritic score, as a meta score, it has a 68 on the meta score and the user score is a 0.8. Man, what did he do to make them niggas that mad? Look at that, a point eight, man. That's how bad it is. That's how bad people say the game is. So I do not want to go to the critic reviews because I don't think this is going to be very necessarily entertaining. I want to go to the user reviews because as you can see right here, there are only nine, nine positives, nine mixed reviews, and two hundred and sixty-one negative reviews. It ain't funny, but it is. If that doesn't tell you how bad this game is, all right, as per as a person who plays 2K themselves, who has been part of the 2K community for years, I have never seen this much hate since 2K18 on a 2K game. Like, I haven't seen that much hate. I joined in like 2K15, 2K14, maybe even as back as 2K13 when I used to play on the Wii. But that is besides the point. We are here for NBA 2K21. It doesn't differentiate between next gen or current gen. Doesn't matter. No, both games are bad. So <laughs> right off the bat, they gave it a score of zero ghost bigfoot says it's absolutely disgusts me to be a basketball fan when 2k exists this game is equivalent to vomit urine and blank in a dumpster fire in a dumpster that's on fire nba 2k 21 is the worst basketball game ever created with no changes from 2k 18 to here besides a stupid meter change yes bro i hate paying 60 dollars 60 plus dollars every year for a roster update like i don't like that i would rather go stick with NBA 2K21 when it still has its servers open and download current rosters that people have made themselves who have taken the time out of their day to make current rosters that are to me way more accurate than what 2K has given us. Shot tendencies. Shot tendency is one of the things 2K has destroyed with their game because there are times when my player won't even shoot, you know, when they are wide open. Yeah, that's something that 2K can really fix is that their rosters and actually give us a brand new game, like a new game that's going to keep us there all year i only went through 2k for three months three months i only stuck with 2k and then i was like you know what i'm done with 2k for now i might come back at the end of the year if they come out with something new they didn't so now we're here King Ant 219 says, this game is a copy and paste of previous 2K games. They added ridiculous shooting mechanics, which I really don't care about. Me neither. I remember the shot aiming in 2K17, which gave your player a significant boost, like a crazy boost, but that really didn't do anything for the game when they added it back this year. What I do care about is the microtransactions. I'm tired of spending VC to have fun in a sports game. This is honestly criminal and is considered gambling. I'm also tired of my career player being capped as a role player. I used to love my career because I had fun playing like a superstar. So what if everybody is 99 everything? Don't un don't you understand that although everything is a 99 it neutralizes things. Now it's all now it's about who can play team ball better, team defense, shoot better and last IQ. Stop capping me. Wow, take me back to the days of take me back to the days of 2K 14, 15 and 16. Yeah, those were some of the best days. That was when I think 2K was in its prime, man. That was when NBA Live started going downhill, man. And I don't know if NBA Live is going to be doing something better something more you know, with the community even if they do make another basketball game which i hope they do because i remember when i used to play nba live it was so much fun so much fun when i played nba live back then this guy says i don't even understand how it's possible to release such a buggy game such a buggy kind of 2k and release 95 percent of the game as it was a copy of 2k20 but they've gone above and beyond and made it even worse bravo 2k it's a piece of crap shot creator with mid-range 
range rating 90 plus can't make a shot in two meters from the basket without green release yeah man the the shooting the shooting the the consistency with your player the attributes everything is wrong with this game has been coming alive everything that is wrong you put all the things wrong with 2k from out throughout the years and put it into one i feel like that is nba 2k 21 current and next gen i don't care you might say at next gen's optimized bro to a next gen nobody plays next gen why because nobody got a ps5 that's the thing max cred gives it a two which is actually the first two out of our line of zeros here and many more to come Max Chris says the game has more redeeming qualities in the presentation and graphics. Sweat. Gameplay is cartoonish garbage. Nothing makes sense. Shot meter is impossible. But steals are regular. People can still reach and intercept the ball with their back face towards the ball. Centers can chase down point guards court is too small just garbage i agree with him it feels when i'm on defense it feels like i'm moving in molasses it feels like i'm like literally in in basically i'm in a in a tar pit when i move literally nothing makes sense yeah the shot nothing makes sense in that game but the shot meter bro when it first came out i could not shoot like everybody could not shoot i don't know even the shot meter is hard now i don't see why they didn't just keep the regular shot meter it's weird man but steals hey the butt steals work in my favor no cap like for real though it works in my favor when you know what i'm saying it just hey it works i must say if it's not broke don't fix it okay i should stop don't give don't give ronnie no ideas man don't give ronnie no ideas ha 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 says this person imagine buying an, anti an, an anticipated a new nba game only for it to be an empty shell of 2k20 but filled with unskippable ads i prefer chewing nails than to ever buy anything from 2k again enjoy my review <laughs> this thing is trash I bet this person is going to buy 2K22. Are you looking... Let me ask you this. Are you looking forward to 2K22? I'm not looking forward to NBA 2K22, to be honest with you. I really don't. I really don't. This guy says, This is an update to DLC and not a new game. Don't spend your money buying this mercenary company. Nothing has evolved in the game. It's the same as NBA 2K20. Yeah, it's really just 2K20 with a new shot meter and like more sweat, basically. This guy says, In-game ads added a month after release. Microtransactions to a point where it's literally a virtual casino. Copy paste the content, $60. We're literally paying $60 for a game that is literally the same as last year, just with some roster tweaks and more bad more bad player rate. Um, probably the one of the worst 2K games that I've ever played is just a reskin of 2K20. I see what everybody's talking about here. This was bad. This is bad. Really bad. I'm trying to find some funny ones, bro. Golzar says, this review contains spoilers. Control C, then Control V still until it ends up still ends ends up being worse than the previous one which was a one a copy of the previous one no i think nba 2k20 was not a was not a copy paste of 2k19 because i feel like 2k19 was a good game it was a pretty good game the dribbling the shooting things like that was good i don't see why they didn't keep those mechanics moving forward since people liked it is it just because the 2k community is divided into realism and arcade style gameplay maybe but who cares man i just want a good video game at the end of the day and i don't want to feel like i'm moving in molasses on defense drop dead shoddy said ronnie bro stop giving people the same game every year time for the community to speak up about how much of a fraud you are my man take that zero for giving us a copy paste game these guys are ruthless these guys are ruthless zzz71 said bottom of the mariana trench bottom of the mariana trench bottom of the mariana trench doesn't don't know what that means yeah I really don't. I really don't. Uh, for reals, real says this review contains spoilers. Recycled. Yeah, literally everything is recycled. I feel like we get the message here, and these is all like when the game first came out. So like people was on 2K hit. 2K really hitting low points now. Introducing unskippable ads a month after releasing is the worst thing. I believe they did this to trick initial reviewers, but that doesn't work when the initial initial reviews are crap. Darn. They really need to rethink their marketing strategy. Ads in a game you pay full price, sneaked in a month later. 2K is blacklisted and I'll never buy another game of them. You will. I feel like everybody who says they're not going to buy a new 2K game or I'm done with 2K. They're so trash. I'm not ever going to buy a game from them ever again. They went ahead and bought the next. It's, dude, 
you want those updated rosters without having to download them from users okay you really do you want to be on the way the same wave as every single big 2k youtuber such as speed um um joe knows all of them you want to be on the same wave as them so i understand bro you know the the feelings you have right now they're going away but yeah man let's get on with them more of these reviews 2k are truly as bad as for e oh my goodness are truly as bad as EA for putting those ads on a game that didn't have them in the first place. You guys are so disgusting, especially all the casinos you put in those sport games. I am not a basketball NBA. I am not an NBA player, but it shows me how much you care for your customers and I refuse to buy more of your games, even in discount. <laughs> See, I bought 2K21 on discount, bro. I literally did. I promise you, I did. I did not like the game when it first came out, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy it on discount and just play my league. Straight my league. Garbage. The opposing CPU is like God mode, even if you play on pro. Meanwhile, the CPU on your team play like goldfish. Straight up scripted. The shot meter is horrible, and the gameplay is even worse. If you haven't bought this game yet, please do not waste your hard-earned money on this steaming pile of trash. Where do I start with this one? Do you hate yourself? Then buy this game. What? That's all I need to read from that. That's all I need to read. This is the highest review we've seen. This is the highest review we've seen. The worst version of 2K20. The shooting is terrible. No chances at all. The only thing good about the game is my career prelude with college and high school. The rest isn't isn't even worth it. Wow. 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 I hope y'all enjoyed this. I mean, there's nothing really I can say else or say any more reviews. These are really all saying the same thing. And I feel like the 2K community is on the same page here that this is one of the worst 2K games, if not the worst NBA 2K game that we have seen in a a while i really really did this did dislike this game it really was the defense was bad i felt like i was moving in tar the microtransactions wanted me to spend 50 dollars just to get my nba player to get my my player to 85 overall to be honest with you i literally grinded day in day out on my league putting up quadruple doubles to at least get 2000 vc and i did that 82 games in a row in one my league season i did that just so i can upgrade my player just so i didn't have to spend money bro i i did that i did that and i don't know how much i had to go through that took at least three months for me to do and three months into the thing and everybody was on the wave that the game was trash and i didn't feel like playing it no more i really hope 2k22 addresses all the issues that we have been complaining about for years now they will hope they give us a brand new game i did hear they do have a cruise ship on 2k22 on current gen so i'm really excited to see how that's gonna play out i don't know what's gonna go on with the next gen with the the city and all that i really hope the city is gonna be good i really hope it doesn't get boring i hope it's not bugged out as it was last year or for for this year 0.8 my goodness i can't believe they really gave it a 0.8 that's sad but yeah i really hope that my, the, the 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 city isn't as bugged out as it was last season it's always understandable for something new to be buggy but bro i really hope they make do the community the, the community what it's do and give us something of a reward for sticking with them for so long man for sticking with them for so long through these horrible things that they've done and i really hope they they do do something about it if you enjoyed this video why not give it a thumbs up like comment and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy dime if you like the video why not like and subscribe because how can you like a video and not like and subscribe god bless peace out 100 bow